am that British guy and welcome to a very special extra episode of Buy, Try or Fly. And this time I am covering Hitman Season 1, the episodic series. Because at the moment, IO Interactive have released the prologue episode for free across PlayStation, Xbox One and on Steam as well. So I downloaded this for my PS4 and I played through it and I thought it was absolutely superb. They have left all the cutscenes in so you are thrown straight into the main storyline and then if you actually download the game obviously you've got an idea of what's going on going forward you haven't got to repeat any of that. Now the prologue section in terms of levels consists of two maps. One is a cruise liner. Now the first time you play through this the game does hold your hand quite a lot, introduces you to all of the mechanics of the game which is quite good for someone like me because I've not actually played much of the older versions of Hitman and after you've played through it once you can actually go back to that level and it's just basically a sandbox and you can do what you like within it. The second level is in an army base and this is called the final test. It's basically you as Agent 47 doing your exam to become part of this assassination group and if you manage to successfully eliminate your target then you will become a fully fledged agent. Now obviously this being the test is a lot more difficult, it's a lot bigger area, there's a lot more things to consider. So what the game does is it allows you to play the first level as many times as you like giving you many different objectives and play styles just so that you can really get a feel for the game before you jump into the final test level in the military base. Now obviously that you can play repeatedly as well just to really get a feel for the game and because of the way the leveling system works the more you play the actual levels of the game going forward it unlocks extra items and start points therefore making the experience a little bit easier in some ways and harder in others and just giving you a different feel even though you are playing through the same level with the same objectives. In terms of the gameplay and the controls everything was very on point. There are plenty of on screen prompts because a lot of the buttons do different things at different times. That was very helpful for me, didn't cause any problems at all. The way Agent 47 controls makes a lot of sense and the way that he interacts with the world around him is very realistic as well and pretty much all of your actions can cause some kind of massive consequence to you going forward and it's really fun to try different things out and see what cause and effect that creates. And because of that, even though you are playing the same maps again and again and again, every single time feels genuinely new. And in terms of buy, try or fly, I actually bought this game for PS4. Because I am a PlayStation Plus subscriber, I managed to get it for only $17.99 instead of $44.99. So that's a 60% saving. If you don't have a PlayStation Plus subscription, it will cost $31.49, which is still a saving of... 30% from the normal price of the game. On Steam it is only $15.89 which is a saving of 66% but unfortunately on Xbox One it is still its full price $44.99. Now because of that if you do have an Xbox One I would strongly suggest you try the free prologue level first to see if you like the way it plays then you can download it unfortunately for you guys at full price and enjoy it from there but to be honest if you're playing this on PS4 or if you're getting this on Steam I would strongly advise buying this game if you haven't done already when it first came out. Now it came out as an episodic game but obviously all of the levels are there to play through now you don't have to wait but I do suggest not just smashing your way through the main campaign through the levels because you're not really getting a full feel for the game Obviously when it came out and you only had one map at a time to deal with, the idea was repeat gameplay and I found that you could literally spend hours and hours and hours on one map trying things in different ways and even if you got it down to what you felt was quite a quick mission time, 
The last time I tried that on the first level, I thought, oh, I breezed through that and it still actually took me 33 minutes. And I've still got quite a way to go with unlocking everything in that level. The good thing is then when you go on to the second level, it resets everything back to zero. So you've got that incentive again to go through all the different things within that level. So although it makes that one level that much easier, there's still a need and a necessity to try the same sorts of things in the second level and what you will find is that what you thought was working quite well on one map really doesn't work for you going forward and you've got to really think and adapt how you play and how you go through the levels because although you've got pretty much the same objectives of eliminating people the world around you and the NPCs that you engage with make the experience a hell of a lot different. And that is a very quick extra buy try or fly episode based on hitman season one i will obviously be doing the same for the playstation plus free games for july very very soon once they come out and once i've had chance to get to grips with all of them let me know what you guys think of hitman if you bought it when it first came out or if you've tried it since the prologue was free and have actually downloaded it yourself please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel Follow me as well on Twitter at Rightly Wrongly. I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.